plaintiff, Charlotte Baranda, says after she allowed the defendants, her son and daughter-in-law, to move into her home, they had nothing but problems. Charlotte claims while living together, her daughter-in-law assaulted her more than once, and the police had to get involved. And she's suing for a loan and emotional distress. Defendants Jennifer Baranda and her husband Mike say they have five police reports and one arrest against Charlotte because she has harassed them and their children. Jennifer claims Charlotte even threatened to shoot her, so they're countersuing for the harassment and emotional distress. Start with you. Chris, Jennifer is my daughter in law, Michael Baranda is my son who's put a hole in my heart that will never, ever heal. On um, June 1st, 2015, they asked me if they could move into my home so they could save money to purchase their own home. And I said yes. They stayed in my house from June 1st until December 23rd. I weighed 128 pounds when they moved in. And because of the stress, I'm down to 98 pounds. What was going on when they moved and in? And then, I, like, go ahead. I went from a 36 double D down to 34 C, and that's adding insult to injury. Trust me. It is kind of amusing, but I'm not going to laugh because I know you've been very serious and I'm, i got to take everything you say very serious today. What was going on when they were staying with you that caused all this to happen? On December 12th, she and I got into a verbal argument and she said some pretty vile, nasty things. I said, well, just get out of my house. Move out of my house. Get out of my house. He says, I'm not moving. This is my house. No. Hello? No. I'm the one that worked <laughs> since I was 14. You said, hello? Yeah. <laughs> That's what you said? Uh, uh, hello. <laughs> no. Uh, they got a different word. Now, you, they used to say, hello? No, they yeah. say, girl, bye. <laughs> That's, just, that's what you say next time. <laughs> girl, bye. <laughs> Go ahead. So I thought, okay, we'll see what happens. So I went into the bathroom. So I start taking her stuff out. I have a picture. Why didn't you all get along? You let me hear from you. You're just a witness. That's your name. I'm Stay Denise you. Thompson. Is it your daughter? She's my aunt. Okay. Why didn't my, they get along? My auntie mom, because they wanted to take over her home. That's my. <laughs> they. Okay. No. Let me so finish, all, please. Mm -hmm. I'm not done. Well, I'm just saying it's a lie. No, it's not a lie. That is. I'm even there. They used to get along well until they moved in. There you go. That's yes. what I want to hear. Yes. Is that true? Yes. Yes. You are right. So I see okay. what the problem. It was when you yes. when they moved in, there was some issues. They should have all never right. moved in. Got it. Now yes. we know. All right. Okay. So. so I have a picture of my bathroom in my hallway where I was slammed between the two doors. I was in the linen closet getting stuff out, and she mm -hmm. came in through the hall right. uh, door, hallway door, and she was pushing it up against me. Man, but you were and I'm the slammed stuff off in between the, shelf, the door man. at my children. And these are the pictures of my arm. Oh, what happened? I can see it from here. No, what happened, ma'am? This is when your so, arm was slammed in the door. I called the police. So the police officer took pictures, said, do you want to press charges? And I said, no, I don't. Who I don't want her police? to go to jail. Both of us. I called I have first. have the police report. Let's see. And the picture. Let's see. It'll say who called. The picture of my wrist. So this is your arrest. You were arrested. Not no. That, no, your not wrist. Not that time. Okay, no, my got wrist. It. You not said arrest. not that time. Oh, they've been out a lot of times. I have five police reports against her and an arrest. Five police reports. And a video from the police. So what would happen? And I judge, have the police what? reports. Let me hear from her, please. So what <laughs> would happen was mm -hmm. she would irritate my aunt to the point of no return. <laughs> then That's she would lie. call the police. No. The police would come and say it was her fault. They say 50-year-old <laughs> son Michael and his wife Jennifer both in dispute with 
caller. That means she called. Yes, liar. Sir. Yes. Liar. What do you mean? The police are lying? No, she's a liar. That's what no, they say. He's police a liar. says she called. Yeah. The police. So, and, and I didn't press charges. I didn't want her to go to jail. What was the next one? The next incident was I was going to get the cable box out of their bedroom. What date was this? Because you just gave me that the 12th. Was the 14th. Two days later. Uh, what two happened? days later. So I go in there to unhook the cable box. Here's a picture. And then we're going to get to the loan, which That's is. That's a picture of the room. Okay. And where the safe. Who is. was trying to. You were trying to disconnect the cable box? Yes, that was sitting on Why? top of the dresser. Because I was going to turn it back in and get my money back. All right. Then what okay. happened? And so then she came, she came around the bed and said, you can't take that. You've got to get out of this room. And she slammed me up against the safe. You were arrested? No. No, no your not wrist. Not that time. Okay, no, my wrist. It. You not said arrest. not that time. Oh, they've been out a lot of time. I have five police reports against her and an arrest. Plaintiff Charlotte Baranda is suing her son and daughter-in-law, who claim while living with Charlotte, they called the police on her five times for assault and harassment. Who called the police then? She called the police. Saying what? Why didn't you call the police? Because she punched me in the face. First of all, she came into I did the room. I didn't after. There's a, a doctor's note. She ain't nothing to play report. with. I see. <laughs> Jennifer State Charlotte hit her on the face. Jennifer State Charlotte has a handgun. She threatened to shoot me. Oh, you lying! <laughs> there you have it. And there you have it. Okay. <laughs> how can how can I shoot her? There it is, her? right there. Well, she has. Wait a minute. 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 How can I shoot her? With my 22 that's sitting in my armoire in my it bedroom, says in the police when he took all the bullets out of it, am well, I going to go because she's bang, crazy. bang, bang, you're dead, or what? <laughs> There's no bullets in the gun. She's threatened to shoot both of us before, so that's that's why in the police report it states that my husband went into her room and removed the ammo from her gun because she has threatened us well, before. All right, that's the Your police Honor. report you gave me, ma'am. Yes. Did you did you hit her in the face? I believe that. She's got me pinned. I'm 90 pounds. And you bust her in the face, ma'am? I didn't punch her, because if I punched her, she and wouldn't have any teeth. <laughs> I yeah. Laugh. Laugh again. I swear to God, I slapped her so she would move so her. I could get okay. out. All right, let me allow them to talk some now. <laughs> the two of you, tell me what you want me to know. Okay. Then we got to get to the loan. So you're then it, them for. it goes on. Um, she had just briefly. She let our little dog out. Our little dog got attacked by a pit bull across the street. Um, I ran after. He the dog. ran after the pit bull. I had to kick oh. the pit bull to get the dog. Okay. Because it and was then running, we came yeah. in the house. Or then then the, I called the police on the people. They're supposed to have their mm -hmm. dogs on leash. Mm -hmm. So the police come. And they hear her yelling at her about pots and pans. So then um, on the 23rd, um, the date she right was here. arrested. She was arrested? She yeah. was. Were arrested. I wasn't yes. arrested. I was issued a citation. We have the video. Well, and it says in the um, newspaper that she was arrested. Let's see. You made the paper, <laughs> ma'am? She made the paper. <laughs> I guess I did. I know nothing about it. All I know Tell was me what I have so, on Tell the twenty third. My children are terrified of her. This is the county jail log yeah. for the whole town. Yeah, I got fingerprinted. And, and you may have you highlighted, ma'am. Yep. Warrant issued for harassment. She was booked. Yes. And release. I'm, okay, I was not, remember. let me say, so, I was not arrested. I was, <laughs> will you just shut up and listen oh. a minute? I was given a citation. <laughs> it says you were arrested. Anyway, that day. Um, what happened with the case? Oh, the case. Ultimately, we ended up dropping the charges. Oh, right. You didn't want to send her to jail. I didn't want Let's to send her to jail. Here. This is about the incident. And this, what my kids have gone through. And what our kids have gone through. Yes, yeah. And my wife. I saw her walk by my mom and Here's I took her and I heard her say, oh, did I hit you? And then she walked off. Okay. All right. Uh, have you ever seen her do that in the past? Yeah. Yeah? 
Well, why? How come you didn't want to stay up there? I just don't like getting up there. Like, mm. one time I tried to set up a table and she was yelling at me to get away from it, so... Who's calling to like you? My son. My son. Okay. Well, why was she yelling at you to get away from the table? I don't know. I can't she hear just it. doesn't want us to eat at her table. I can hear it very well, ma'am, but I'm I just tell you, from what I hear, it ain't nothing good. Harassment? Harassment, yeah. She did it in front of the, in front of the kid who witnessed it, and they're both scared to death of her. Are you here? That's enough. Okay. Let's get to the loan, ma'am. How do they owe you um, $5,000? Well, the thousand is for harassment. Emotional distress, okay. Stress. 4000 for the loan. $4,000. Tell me about it. On March 12th, I gave Michael, uh, 2015, I gave Michael a check for $4,000 to pay off a creditor so that he could get better credit so he mm -hmm. could get when a house. When was he supposed to repay? Uh, 2016, this year, when he got his income tax back. <laughs> okay? He didn't do it. Hello? Yeah, hello. <laughs> You didn't pay it at all. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have text messages here dated January 15th. And Let me I... allow them to respond first. Oh, do you want to just... Let me hear about... Yes, you can hand that to me. What do you say? Um, I have a we cash have a check, check for $4,000. You see it. $4,733 for repayment of loan. It says right on the bottom she cashed it. Okay. I have all the receipts here for 2014 where you borrowed $4,707.22. Yeah, what? that's, and, and I have that all there, 2014. So and that's what you say, it. the 4700 was repaying for yes. this. Yes, yes, sir. Not so, for the, the new loan of 4000 Not 4, for the 000. new 4000 Now, when is this check you all gave me? Now, we owe her. This was April of 15, yet in January 16, Yes. She's asking about her money. Because we owe her another, we do currently still owe her for something different. How much? We owe $1,900. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> the date she was arrested. She was arrested? She yes. was. I was yes. arrested. I was issued a citation. We have the video. Well, and it says in the um, newspaper that she was arrested. Plaintiff Charlotte Baranda is suing her son and daughter-in-law, who claim while living with Charlotte, they called the police on her five times for assault and harassment. Your counterclaim for 5,000, harassment, emotional distress. That's for all this mess. This, from, from the assaults, from um, the trauma, my, my children, my daughter- Why don't you all just move out? Yeah. We, we did. did. We did. <laughs> Why didn't you move out sooner? Why didn't you move out after the first? I guess we you didn't have any place to okay. go immediately. Well, we were in we escrow. Were if we were in escrow on our house. And we were trying to move out. Yeah, we this is only on what Christmas. this happened in one month, so yes. you're right. Okay, All right, ma'am, right. this is what I'm going to do. Oh, <laughs> um, except that they owe you 4000 That's your judgment. However, you were arrested, booked, made the newspaper. <laughs> About jumping on them, newspaper. man. They called the police on you a couple of times. You hit her in the face. I seen the marks, and you, they, you throwing their stuff out of the cabinet. You started that incident. She shouldn't have reacted as she did. This grandson is, is testifying against you. I believe you caused some emotional distress. So I am going to grant them one thousand dollars, ma'am. I'm sorry. They, they, I got to be fair. You, you did them. You beat them down. You frightened them. <laughs> You're a piece of work. I better say that and run. Uh, 4000 for you, 1000 for you, 3000 you're left with. Thank you. <laughs> I ain't playing. Mama ain't playing. I'm just glad it's over with. It's been a long, drawn-out process. My kids have suffered immensely. I'm glad it's done. Well, first of all, it's not over yet. They still owe me another $5,000 on a different claim that I will be, that's filed. And Jennifer, I would not give you the sweat off my ass.
if you were dying of thirst. I got and that shows her say. character. She's a liar. She lied to me for the past 20 something years, her cheating on my dad. And what she if, went and seen him not even a month after my dad passed away. It was from three cancer. months Did you know afterwards. That Jennifer cheated on you when you were living together in. Yeah, uh, right. No. You don't know. <laughs> and she got the diamond earrings. You're from a man. Oh, I don't know more than you think I know. Yeah.